So I call this portion, Get to Know Israel, before I actually go into my word. So Israel, Israel A. Adikumi was born on Monday, January the 6th, 1986, to Ida Lee Jefferson and Stanley Brewer in New Brunswick, New Jersey. Raised by his mother, maternal grandmother, Nina Ruth Jefferson Kapu, entered into the church at an early age. He was baptized and was a faithful member of First Baptist Church of Lincoln Gardens in Somerset, New Jersey, where he served on the youth choir and junior usher board. At an early age, he knew there was a calling on his life and continued to strive to be the best he could be. In June 2006, Israel graduated from North Brunswick Township High School in North Brunswick, New Jersey. In November 2007, he was licensed by ULC as a minister and was a faithful member of Unity Fellowship Church of New Brunswick. In 2010, Israel moved to Philadelphia, PA, and joined the Unity Fellowship of Christ Church Philadelphia, where he became yeah, woo, 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 where he became a deacon candidate until September 2012. In October 2012, Mr. Adekunle was ordained as an elder priest by Apostle Ioka Ojo of Chief Universal Apostolic Spiritual Kingdom and Bishop Nicholas Ben Brown. Shortly after, Tuas charted the ministry known as African Messianic Temple where he was serving as the senior congregational rabbi. In October 2015, Israel was consecrated as a bishop and prophet and affirmed as apostle and received a doctorate of religious education from Tuas. Currently, Israel is affirming his yes again and is a deacon candidate at Unity Fellowship yeah. of Christ Church Philadelphia. <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> okay, so you guys heard the scripture text. And I will read it again for your understanding. In the year that King Uzziah, of King Uzziah's death, I saw Adonai sitting on a high and lofty throne. The hem of Yahweh's robe filled the temple. Seraphim stood over him, each with six wings, two for covering his face, two for covering his feet, and two for flying. They, they were all crying out to each other, more holy than the holiest holiness is Adonai Savon. The earth, the whole earth is filled with God's glory. The doorpost shook on the sound of their shouting and the house was filled with smoke. Then I said, woe to me, I am doomed because I am a man with unclean lips living among a people with unclean lips. Have seen, but I have seen the king of glory with my own eyes, Adonai Savon. One of the seraphim flew with me, seraphim flew with me with a glowing coal in his hand, which he had taken with tongs from the altar. He touched my mouth with it and said, Here, this has touched your lips. Your iniquity is gone. Your sin is atoned for. Then I heard the voice of Adonai saying, Whom shall I send? And who will go for us? Then said I, Hinene, send me. Hinene means, it's pronounced Hinene. And it means here I am, and it is most used when God personally calls or so, calls someone to do something difficult and important. Amen. So if you were to ask me what today's topic is, it is being present and accounted for. Yes. When God takes attendance and roll call, what will your status be? Mm. Will it be yeah. present or absent? Hey. I want to be marked present. So if you want to be marked present, it has some requirements. And your first requirement is an awareness of God's presence. Yes. Before we can impact the world, God must make an impact on us. Wow. Before we can impact the world, God must make an impact on us. Yes, man. So you can't go anywhere in God's name and God hasn't called you to do so. Come on now. Seraphs and seraphims are six winged warrior angels whose task is to surround the throne of the eternal and guard access to it. A healthy awareness of Yahweh's presence empowers, enlightens, informs, and transforms. Yes. An awareness of God's presence allows us to see God as God really is and ourselves as we really are. Amen. The second thing is to know our place in the spirit in the eternal's presence, we vividly see our place. Even with what the Creator knows, God still chooses and uses you. 
Mm. Yes. Even yes. with what the Creator knows, God still chooses and uses you. Come on now, say that, say that, say that. I don't know why I just thought about that, but even if you are... Well, I guess I can't do it. It's biblical. So if you are a prostitute, you can use it. If you're a drug addict, you can use it. Yes. yes. Right. Whosoever. Whosoever. Yeah. Don't place limits on how the on how the most high can use you. Yeah. So sometimes we're not meant to be in one place. Sometimes we're meant to move around. Um, I've learned that um, in my life to just go ahead and do things. Just because I don't have the credentials to do it doesn't mean that I can't do it. God always makes a way to put me in where I need to be in. Yeah. And remember, you are cho you are chosen. Yes. The third is having an unadulterated yes. Mm. To be unadulterated means to not be mixed or diluted with any different or extra elements. You have to remember that you are complete and absolute. Yes. 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 Absolutely. You got to remember that you are complete and absolute. That's right. The Creator could have chosen to work alone, but chose to work in partnership with us. Amen. Don't get Mark absent. Mm. 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 Get the unaccounted for to go AWOL, which is to be absent without leave or to be found missing in action. Mm -hmm. Can Yahweh mark you present? Well, hallelujah. Will you say yes? Yes. Will you say yes? yes? Will you say here I am? Yes. Will you say here I am? Yes. Will you say send me? Send me. So when Pastor asks you to do something, will you throw a temper tantrum or will you say send me? Send me. Will you say send me? Yes. Come on now. Will you do spiritual development? Will you say send me? Come on. Dr. Renita Williams. Dr. Renita Williams, a wonderful novelist, Flannery O'Connor once wrote, every morning I get up and go downstairs and sit at my typewriter. I sit there whether or not I know what I'm going to write or not. I sit there because it's my routine. And I sit just in case something comes, I'll be ready. As a minister, those words resonated with me and they continue to do so because I know what it is to mount the pulpit to sit in a pew and know what it is that I am supposed to, and not know what it is that I'm supposed to feel, what it is that I'm supposed to say. Okay. I'm sure why I'm even there at all, but every Sunday I mount a pulpit or sit in a pew, sometimes angry with God, sometimes angry with life, oftentimes unsure what I'm supposed to say or even believe, That's right. but I mount that pulpit and I sit in that pew just in case. God speaks. I won't be there. I will be there. I want to be there to hear God say. And yes, God. Amen. Yes. Praise God. Praise God. Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord. That's my first time hearing from our. Young deacon candidate Israel Adikuma, and I am grateful. I know that he's spoken in many places, but this is his first time here. Amen. And um, I'm just grateful that we have such a voice and such a talent with us. Will you be present and accounted for when the Lord calls you? Will you be Mark Jackson? Will you say, Henanay, here I am? Amen. Amen. 